What's happening everybody? Boy Big Brando and today let's talk about white toner printers. Now I know there's a ton of information and there's a lot of videos going around YouTube about white toner printers. So naturally there's a bunch of comments asking me about white toner printers. A lot of people want to know what my take on it is, if I feel like it's a good investment, if I use it, all that good stuff. Now let me just give this blanket disclaimer right here. I only talk about the stuff that I use on my day-to-day -day operation within these walls at home that's all I can talk about. With that being said, would I invest in a white toner printer? Probably not. Here's my reasons why. There's a ton of information out there about them and it's cool. You know what I mean? You can see how much they cost. You can see the convenience of it. Printing multicolor from home. Super cool technology. But let's talk about investment wise. You're going to drop a sizable budget on one of these printers and it's cool. If you have the money, go for it. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with it. There's a lot of videos showing how easy it is to use and that's cool. But let's talk about maintenance. Let's talk about upkeep. Let's talk about troubleshooting. With anything and everything, there's always going to be some sort of learning curve. So for yourself, you have to ask yourself, do you have the clientele for that? If this is just something novelty and it's something cool that you just want to have in your shop and be able to offer that kind of stuff, cool. Nothing wrong with that. But do you have enough clientele to pay that machine off? So for myself, I hate starting out in the hole with anything. I hate to start out in the hole, meaning I hate to drop a big budget on something and then have to sell stuff to make sure that I'm getting out of that hole for myself I'd rather make it a lot easier and have a smaller investment and then be able to make a lot more money so when it comes to white toner printers and all that stuff having that convenience of printing from home super cool but when the machine goes down what are you gonna do when the heads get clogged what are you gonna do when your printer starts banding on all the prints what are you gonna do there's not a lot of information not a lot of videos out there showing how to correct these errors so for that alone there's no way that I would invest in something like that because the maintenance and the upkeep is crazy. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, you could get, I don't know what the number is, 10,000 prints off of one ink cartridge and all that stuff. That's cool. But have you ever looked at how much those ink cartridges cost? The consumable cost is crazy in itself. So not just buying the printer, but the consumable cost. You got to remember when you get that machine, you're going to be testing a lot of stuff. There's going to be a lot of trial and error. There's going to be a lot of learning. So with all that learning, you're going to be using up ink and all that stuff you're not just plugging it in getting going there's going to be a lot of trial and error right so you're going to be wasting a lot of that ink so you're going to have to re-up on the ink and we talking thousands you know what i mean so you have to remember consumable costs what the print cost is going to be like all of that stuff is a headache that i personally do not want do i have access to a white toner printer yes i do companies have asked me to review their white toner printers they have reached out and said can we send you a white toner printer i said no <laughs> honestly i do not want to do that i don't even want to provide that information to my viewers because I would be an asshole if I said go out and invest in this printer look at what it can do and I personally don't use that printer in my own operation now I'm being a dick you know what I mean so for that I would not provide that kind of information to you guys solely because I'm not trying to get nobody to invest in anything crazy and put them in debt so all my shit is budget friendly you know what I mean I use a cameo plus I use heat press nation I have access to more expensive equipment but because I don't need that expensive equipment in my own operation that's why i don't make the videos about that kind of stuff the information that i provide to you guys i feel responsible for the information that i give out so if i was just like hey man check this new printer out it could do this this and this cool but if i'm not using it every single day if i'm not using it for my own personal brands there's no way that i'm gonna actually relay that information to you guys and pretend like yeah i use this all the time you guys should go out and buy it nah man because at the end of the day when it comes down to cost if you're doing multicolor prints because that's what you're getting that white toner printer for mainly for multicolored prints i would just use a company like supercolor and have them print out the transfers for me and then that way i'm risking a little bit of money to order those transfers and then i'm going to make a lot of money back by selling those t-shirts so you got to remember the risk to invest in one of those white toner printers versus the risk in ordering some multicolor transfers from Supercolor. The technology could be the same. They could both be using white toner printers. Supercolor could have a huge white toner printer over there. I'd rather let them print because they're a professional at it. They know what they're doing. I would hate to troubleshoot some stuff at home. And if I'm doing 40 t-shirts a night, 60 t-shirts a night, am I gonna run that printer 
to do 40 transfers, 60 transfers. Nah, man, I'd rather just have them printed out, me pick them up, and boom, start pressing right away. Now, are these white toner printers bad? I can't say anything good or bad about it. What I can say is I sit through the demos at ISS every year. I touch the samples, I watch the demo, and I'm just not sold on the investment side of things. Meaning I'm not gonna invest in one of those printers. I don't see the benefits to having that in my own workshop, so it's just that. You know what I mean? If I wouldn't use it day to day, I'm not gonna be going around telling you guys, you guys should be using it if I don't. My whole channel is based around exactly what I do is what I'm telling you guys how I run my business. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If you own a white toner printer, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be the ones thumbs down in this video i'm pretty sure you're gonna be the ones coming to the white toner printer rescue in the comments talking shit you don't know what you're talking about it's the best investment i ever made that's fine if that's how you run your business cool but for myself that's not how i run my business this is my youtube channel and i talk about how i run my business you know what i mean so if you guys want to invest in that printer by all means go for it if you don't i don't blame you either you know what i mean because i don't use one and it's not because i hate these companies it's just not an investment for me and it's not what i want to get myself into like i said i use plastisol transfers i use super color transfers and i also use a vinyl cutter that's all my operation consists of and then if i wanted to do socks or if i want to do masks i use a sublimation printer that's where it stops i don't use my sublimation printer for t-shirts i just use it for socks masks sometimes i use it for mugs like around christmas time coming up i'm gonna use it for some mugs but that's where it stops that's my whole operation that's how i run all my brands all my businesses little to no overhead no issues and and every piece of equipment in here is well under a thousand dollars you know what i mean maybe the most expensive thing i got in my shop is my heat press and that's about it vinyl cutter is what three hundred dollars something like that hat press is like three hundred dollars this press is maybe five hundred six hundred dollars sawgrass printer which is the smallest sawgrass printer they offer i think it's like four hundred five hundred dollars something like that so everything in my shop is fairly cheap and it gets me by that's why i operate the way i do i'm all about making more money and not wasting money you see what i'm saying hopefully this helps you guys out like i said if you're one of those white toner printer owners that's going to be angry leave it in the comments let me know what your experience is like you probably won't convince me there's always people trying to convince me why white toner printers are the best and all that and why i should be using them if you operate your business that way cool make some youtube videos about it for myself this is how i operate my business that's why i make youtube videos about it all right catch you guys on the next one man yeah